Hi there! This is my first video on this channel, and this channel is just gonna be the place where I talk about whatever I feel like. Probably something kind of weird and obscure that most people don't care about. Starting with what I want to talk about today, optical disc packaging. This is a CD jewel case. These things have been around for almost as long as the compact disc format has existed. And even if you're young enough that you've never listened to an audio CD or put a CD-ROM in the family computer, you probably still know what these things are and have seen them around. They're still the most common type of packaging used on compact discs and CD-ROMs even to this day. These things have been pretty much unchanged for the majority of their existence, with the biggest development being the gradual shift away from these opaque black or white disc trays to these clear ones that allow for additional artwork to be displayed behind the disc itself. Now compare the jewel case with the DVD keep case, which is a newer optical disc packaging design that's seen more significant design revisions despite being more recent. While the basic shape and design of the keep case has remained relatively the same since its inception, most newer keep cases now have these holes cut in them and are made from a slightly thinner plastic, which makes them noticeably less durable than their older counterparts. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this design, and I doubt most people who still buy new DVDs are, but the cost savings associated with using less plastic, along with a reduced environmental impact, are obvious benefits. Which then raises the question, why do most new CD releases still come in jewel cases that use the exact same design they have for over 30 years, even though there have been cheaper and more environmentally friendly options on the market for many, many years? For example, most independent artists and smaller record labels opt to use some variant of these paper sleeves. I'm all the more baffled by the continued use of jewel cases when considering the downsides they have compared to newer packaging designs. Most notably, the brittle plastic that they're made out of tends to crack and break easily. Here's just a few of the CDs in my collection that have cracked or broken front covers, and if you've ever held a jewel case with a broken cover like this, you know that it feels substantially less solid than one with a cover that's intact. The brittle plastic also compounds the other design flaws of the jewel case, most notably the hinges that hold the cover to the rest of the case. These things have a bad habit of breaking off. The worst example I have is this album here, which I ordered brand new from the artist's website. It arrived in my mailbox with a crack in the front cover and a hinge broken off inside the shrink wrap. This isn't the only album I've ordered that's arrived like this, either. Seriously, the plastic that these cases are made out of can't reliably withstand a one-way trip through the mail inside a padded envelope. There's also the all-too-common problem of the spindles, which hold the CD in place in the disc tray, snapping off due to too much stress on the brittle plastic. The only real way to fix this is to replace the entire disc tray, which if you've ever done that, you'll know is annoying and can often lead to other parts of the case breaking in the process. This problem is made even worse with multi-disc cases, because there's not really a standardized multi-disc case design. If a spindle breaks off on one of these inner flaps that hold multiple discs inside the same case, and it's a less common case design, it can be really hard to find a suitable replacement. Now going back to my earlier comparison with DVD keep cases, I find them to be more durable than jewel cases largely because of the softer plastic they're made out of. Even the newer, less sturdy variants I find tend to fare a little better when dropped or crushed than most jewel cases. So, why haven't we switched to using CD jewel cases that are made out of the same soft plastic as DVD keep cases? This is a crush-proof polypropylene CD case, or poly case for short. These poly cases have the exact same dimensions as a standard jewel case, and address most of the problems that I mentioned earlier. They're more durable due to the softer plastic that they're made out of, and they also don't have any removable parts, including the two-disc variants that I've seen, though admittedly those don't have a place to keep a booklet inside the case. They also use 22% less plastic by weight, at least according to my measurements. Now, you may have noticed that the poly cases I've been using in this video as examples aren't exactly in the best condition, and that's because, that aside from ordering these things direct from the manufacturer in bulk, they're actually kinda rare. The two that I have here I got randomly secondhand when I ordered discs online that didn't have their original cases, and the sellers had used these as a replacement. The only place I've actually seen these things used is at public libraries, who buy them to replace their jewel cases due to their durability. 
I looked into a bunch of different CD duplication places while doing research for this video, and I could not find a single one that offered poly cases as an option for disc packaging. I did find one place that didn't offer standard jewel cases, but I couldn't find any that offered poly cases, which I think might be the biggest reason as to why I've never seen a new CD come packaged in a poly case. Which sucks, because as someone who still buys CDs in 2019, I would genuinely prefer to see them come packaged in poly cases than the old school jewel case design. They're more durable, so I wouldn't have to worry about cases breaking or having to switch out parts, and I think they can look just as nice as jewel cases if someone actually bothered to design inserts that would fit them properly. So if you're a small artist, or work at a record label, or a publishing company, or one of those companies that's still putting out casino game collections on CD-ROM, I encourage you to look into using poly cases in place of standard jewel cases. I'm just going to add a quick addendum here. While editing this video, I discovered that there are, in fact, polypropylene cases that have the exact same physical design as standard jewel cases, as well as cases with removable disc trays for multiple discs. I've never seen any of these designs in person, but I think it further reinforces my point that there's no reason to still be using jewel cases made out of this brittle plastic. If you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching and putting up with me rambling about this weird obsession of mine for about the last five minutes. If you liked what you saw, subscribe. I'm probably going to do something like this sometime in the future. Thanks. Bye.